Emma Stone is a Swifty through and through. During an appearance on The Graham Norton Show on Sunday, the Poor Things actress, 35, revealed the number of times she has seen her friend Taylor Swift's ears tall. Three, so far, she said, before opening up about the origin of her and Swift's 15-year friendship, which began in 2008. We met at this thing that they had called the Young Hollywood Awards in LA, and we just kept in touch ever since and became great friends, Stone recalled. She went on to explain that she attended Swift's opening night performance of the tour in March 2023 because it took place in her hometown of Glendale, Arizona. Stone also noted another special connection to the tour, era's tour choreographer Mandy Moore also choreographed her Oscar-winning musical film La La Land. It was incredible to see, the Cruella star said of Swift's tour kickoff. Host Graham Norton went on to ask Stone if she would confirm the rumor that Swift's song When Emma Falls in Love, a vault track from the 34-year-old singer's July 2023 album Speak Now, Taylor's version, was about her. However, the EZA star would NT take the bait. You have to ask her, Stone said coyly before Norton quickly moved on to another topic. When Emma Falls in Love is thought to be about Stone's relationship with Kieran Culkin, whom she dated from 2010 to 2011. Swift rarely confirms who she writes specific songs about. When she performed the track live as a surprise during a Kansas City show in July, she said she'd written it about one of her best friends, per Entertainment Weekly. Stone previously spoke about the era's tour and her friendship with Swift in an interview with Vanity Fair in June. The concert was pretty amazing, she said. I've known, Swift, since we were 17 and 18, so she hooked me up, which was very nice, cause I know those tickets are impossible to get. The actress also called Swift an amazing friend and praised her work ethic. The amount of sheer stamina to do three and a half hours and perform 44 songs and to maintain the extreme energy of the audience. I've never seen anything like it, she told Vanity Fair.